why post COVID there is no going back. Now we don't mean no going back from the COVID restrictions. In fact, in a lot of places around the country, other than the mask battle, a lot of these kinds of restrictions have been lifted. We mean something bigger, broader, which I want to lay out for you in detail here today. Number one, COVID has changed the world and the culture war. And, I, and we, specifically those of us fighting to conserve America's Judeo-Christian heritage, we must change our tactical perspective accordingly. The rules of engagement have changed. And now we must respond in kind. There is this mantra, and maybe it would be more precise to call uh, precise to call it a desperate hope. There's this mantra repeated often that what's happening here with COVID is just such an outlier. Often followed by an expressed desire to return to the state of the culture war before COVID. Unfortunately, we never will. While it may be unprecedented, it will not be an outlier. COVID is an omen. Pardon the pun. See, we have shown the spirit of the age too much weakness. We have shown it with COVID, what we never had really with any culture war issue before this. That if they force us all to personally, personally experience, meaning in our homes, everywhere we go, If they force us all to personally experience the consequences of a contrived crisis, and these are really just the spirit of the age's quests for more power and control, but if they make us feel it personally, we will dutifully comply. We all read to our children what happens when you give a mouse a cookie. So guess what happens when you give the spirit of the age this level of instant subservience? It will not be satiated with just this singular infusion of unconditional obedience via COVID. Oh, no, no. It will demand more and more on every front. Which is why the COVID playbook of this past year will be run back on virtually everything. 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 Moving forward. The CDC hinted at this recently by describing a lack of wokeness as a public health menace. Anthony Fauci now commenting on gun violence as a public health issue. We have shown that if they utter these magic words, public health crisis, we will assume the position for the spirit of the age on command. After all, you... You wouldn't want to be one of them science deniers, would you? You wouldn't want to kill, fill in whichever victim agitprop is being used at this moment, would you? Would you? Wouldn't want to be one of them people, would you? Everything will be made personal to you now. Everything. There will be no more abstract debates or out clauses like, you know, I don't approve that in my life, but who am I to tell someone else how to live? Uh, uh, uh. Those days are gone forever. You will fully participate in what the spirit of the age commands or you will be condemned and shunned. You will not be permitted to go anywhere or watch or do anything without being confronted with some demand that is personal to you or request or lecture from the spirit of the age. Just as it is marshalling all of its combined forces in D.C., Silicon Valley, Hollywood, and Wall Street with COVID now, this will be the playbook on all of its contrived crises moving forward. The previous rules of engagement, therefore, which permitted space for people of differing views to still mutually enjoy Americana, those are now erased because we showed what rules we will follow unconditionally. And a growing idolatry among our countrymen demands these rules be followed all the more, the more the evidence shows these rules actually don't work. (laughs) 